Hi, this video is going to show you how to use Excel to calculate probabilities for binomial distributions. So here I have a probability distribution for a binomial distribution. Um, I've got 10 trials and the probability of success in any one trial is 0.2. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of probabilities here. Um, I'm going to go for x values from 0 all the way to 10, so every trial. And the first one is if I want to calcul calculate the probability when x equals a value. So for instance, this first one would be when x equals 0. So I'm going to put my equal sign in there. And this is a binomial distribution. So I'm going to start typing in binomial. And binome.dist is the one I'm looking for. OK, number of trials. Now that is 0 here. The trials are 10. Probability is 0.2. And because this is x equals 0, I do not want to choose cumulative. I want to choose the second one, a false. And there is a probability that x is 0. And so I don't have to keep retyping that in all the way down the column because the only thing is gonna, that's going to change is that A3 cell that I choose. So a trick I can use when I copy this down, which actually let me show you what happens if I just copy this down here, uh, it starts giving me errors. It's not happy with what I'm doing. So to fix that, I don't want this cell and this cell that I'm calling to change with each one. And you can see if you do, well, they all change. And so they're pulling blank, uh, blank cells over here rather than the ones I need. So to get it to stop moving those cells, I can use some dollar signs. On there. And you can see it didn't really, it didn't affect anything there, but now when I copy this, down here, it should fix the problem, and there it is. So there's the probability for each possible x value. Now, if I want the probability that x is less than or equal to something, I'm going to use the same function. The only difference now is I want this to be cumulative, okay? because I want the probability that, that x equals, say, 5, and everything less than 5. So I'm going to start by selecting the number for this one. And then I need the number of trials, the probability of a success. And now I'm going to choose tr true. For this one, it'll give me the cumulative. Now, for this first one, it shouldn't be any different than before because it is the lowest possible x value. So, yeah, those are exactly the same. And just like before, I want to copy this down so I don't have to do this for each one. So, I am going to throw in those dollar signs so that it will keep calling these two cells with each one of these. And then I'm just going to copy that for each one. And you can see the values are getting gradually larger as we go down. Now let's say I have a probability that x is greater than a value. Well, that's the complement of the column I just did. So for any one of these, I can just do 1 minus, since 1 is a 100% chance of something happening. So 1 minus whatever this is would give me the probability that x is less than that value. And I could copy that down as well. And again, I would want to do the dollar sign there. Or actually, no, I don't. This one, I think I can just copy it down. I want that value to change each time. So there we go. There's the, the complement for each one. 